Good morning, Texans. This is Alan Cepeda at This Day in Texas History 4, February 14th, 1836. The Georgia Battalion is officially recognized at Refurio. Isaac Technor's company of the Montgomery, Alabama Grays were added to the unit. The Georgia Battalion were assigned to Goliad with Fannin. Luis Guillera's uh, artillery company, part of the Mex Mejia expedition, were part of the unit, but did not want to fight uh, their own countrymen and left to join the Mexican army. Most of the men would die in the Goliad massacre of the Georgia Battalion. Travis and Bowie to Governor Henry Smith. They need money, plus Bowie has the command of the volunteers, and Travis has the regular uh, regulars and volunteer cal uh, cavalry. Two commanders of anything is not going to work. Too many shifts. Uh, Fannin to James W. Robinson and General Counsel. Has to be relieved of, of command. Fannin to James W. Robinson and General Counsel. Santa Ana could take Goliad one day or one week. He wants to see Sam Houston as the head of, of the Army. Fannin wants Sam Houston as the head of the army. The council and Robinson wants Fannin the head of the army. And uh, it's what a mess. D.B. Cummings to his father from Behar gives him a report on the situation in Behar. J.C. Neal to convention. Jesse Badgett has served since November 15th and is honor honorably discharged. James Robinson to Sam Houston. All is good at Goliad. Santa Ana has 1,000 troops in Matamoros. 1,600 at Rio Grande. 2,300 at Saltillo with Santa Ana. Um... Quote, we must be ready and meet battle with the enemy beyond the border of Texas. Fifteen local Tejano ranchers leave the Alamo to get their families to safety before the Mexican army arrives. Santa Ana was known for settling, uh, setting his troops loose on the families of the rebels, so the ranchers were worried that for their uh, safety. Colonel Chavez realizes he has to give them the okay and does so. The ranchers promise to return to, uh, to the army after they get their families to safety. Uh, a lot of them uh, organized over at Gonzales when Seguin got there. He grabbed his men, about 75 of them, and uh, they were going to be the escort for Fannin's army to the to the Alamo. One of those men was my great-great-great-grandfather, who had left under protest, uh, leaving behind his brother, two cousins, and two cousins' uh, brother-in-laws. Uh, well, three cousins. I forgot about Juan Seguin, Juan Seguin's brother-in-laws. So that was a very important thing, and... Uh, I don't think Travis had any, any other choice. All right, this is Alan Spear with This Day in Texas History. I will see you tomorrow.